as we have seen that the sum of vectors can be represented by one vector, equally, uh, can we take one vector and we can replace it by the sum of others, and we call that decomposition of a vector. And that's going to be very important, and I want you to follow this, therefore, quite closely. I have a vector which is in three-dimensional space. This is my z-axis. This is my x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. This is the origin O, and here is a point P, and I have a vector OP. That's the vector. And what I do now, I project this vector onto the three axes, x, y, and z. So there we go. Each one has so its own method of doing this. There we are. I call this vector, vector A. Let this angle be theta, and this angle be phi. Notice that the projection of A on the y-axis has here a number which I call A of y. This number is A of x, and this number here is A of z. Simply the projection of that vector onto the three axes. 